Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the young adult novel Essence and soon to be published novel I Am Mercy. And today I'm going to be talking about how you can make money writing books. So recently I sat down and wanted to know how many books I have sold of Essence and how much profit I've made and all that. And I don't really want to talk about the details of that today. Instead I want to talk about these lovely little pie charts that I made. So basically, I went through my Kindle records and my Smashbook records and my CreateSpace records and the records that I have from when I do signings and figured out what number of each I sold. Kindle is when you can go on Amazon and buy an ebook and that sort of thing. Smashwords is kind of, it covers every other scope of ebooks. So it's like the ebooks that you get on Barnes & Noble for like your Nook or whatever. And then CreateSpace is my print on demand publisher. So that's when you go on Amazon and buy it through Amazon and that sort of thing. And then signings are when I order the book myself. I have it shipped to me and then I sell the books at signings. So I think it is important to figure out today where money and profit came from everywhere. So here we have the first chart and this chart is just sales and as you can see when you combine Smashwords and Kindle they are about one fourth of the sales of Essence and then the other fourth is Create Space which is when somebody buys the paperback on Amazon or something like that. But more than half of it, just a little bit more than half of it, is a sales I've made myself in person. So that means I've either just done it word of mouth, either I go to work and someone wants to buy it at work, or I go to school and someone wants to buy it at school, or I actually sit down and have a signing or a workshop and I sell books then. And that is apparently where I sold more than half of my books. Now it's important to take that chart away and look at this new chart we have. So this chart is all profit, so this is another thing to keep in mind because you make different profit out of different things. On Amazon I sell Essence for about $12 I think it was, something like that. So I make about $3 a book off of Amazon and if you buy it off of the UK Amazon I think I make a little less and different things like that. If you buy it off of Barnes & Noble's website I make less. If you buy it on Kindle, I only make a few dollars. If you buy it on any ebook, I only make a few dollars. So keeping that all in mind, I think it's very important to look at the profit charts because even though you think like, oh, Kindle, you're going to make 100% profit because you don't actually have to print it up. That's not true because the distributor of Kindle still takes a portion of your ebook profits and you only sell it for $2.99 to start with, or at least that's what I sell my ebooks for, because that's a very good way to, you know, have people reading your book not feeling like they have to take a big risk spending $10 on an ebook. So I sell my ebooks for $2.99, and that means I only get like a dollar or two off of each ebook I sell. So I have to sell a lot more ebooks in order to make the same profit that I would with my paperbacks. Now on the other hand, you have to take into account that when I do a signing, even though I have to buy the books myself and ship them to me and pay for shipping, I make about $6 a book because I'm still charging the $12 that I do on Amazon, but Amazon doesn't have to take a cut. The only cut that's taken out is the $5 or whatever that it takes to print each book and then whatever shipping costs. So I did do the math and I do make about $6 a book on each book that I sell at a signing, which is a lot more compared to Kindle, ebook, or paperback on Amazon. So when you take that into account, if you look at this chart, you can see that signings are way more than anything else in terms of profit. So please keep that in mind when you are self-publishing your own book. If you want to make a decent profit, yes, ebooks and paperbacks will be lovely, but you need to make sure you step out into the real world and interact. Make sure you have signings and events. My goal used to be to have some sort of event at least once a month, and I try to do that in the summer. Right now, during school, with college and work, it's a little more difficult. It's hard enough to actually schedule an event, never mind attend the event. It's good to know where your profits are coming from. It's also very good just to keep track of sales yourself. This is something that I'm going to be doing from now on, and it helps me realize and recognize when sales aren't doing 
so well and I need to promote something more than maybe something else. But yeah, that's basically it. And it's nice to look at the numbers and see what profit you are actually making off of your book to give yourself a little pat on the back when you're having your bad days. But anyways, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.